Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and this is my review of Xenoblade Chronicles X. So let's get down to business here. The game itself, graphic-wise, outstanding. It's probably the best on Wii U overall. It's it might be the environment. Like the grassy environment, it feels like Pikmin 3, but just better. Pikmin 3 had a very amazing environment, but this one just like outclasses it. And the characters, like, not design, but like the design, you can make anything. Your main character is pretty much your design, your choice, however you want it. So it could be a good design, bad design, your own, like, you could basically try making you in the game. Pretty much any create a character is like that. So. The music is pretty outstanding, it, even though I could have, like, said, like, more of, like, a relaxing or, like, a rock and roll kind of thing. But it has rap and some serious music in this. And it has actual vocals, like, as you can hear right now. Uh, let me actually turn up the volume. Yeah, you can actually hear it right now. It's weird hearing uh, rap and like people singing I don't know why it's kind of cool that they added like more genres of music but I really do want a little bit more of like like a uh, relaxing and um, rock and roll kind of music but other than that the music is amazing I still haven't gone through the entire game I'm only on chapter 4 I got the game yesterday and it's very confusing sometimes like these mission mission object objectives, it's kind of weird. And to be and the plot of the story is that you escaped the Earth from a uh, two an al two aliens and more, and now you're trying to live on this planet called Mira, which is inhabited by no no ponds not ponds whatever you like to call them, which are the same species that hereupon Ricky is. So yeah, it's still connecting the two games, but yeah. Uh, so basically, your you your character lost its memory, and you only know your name. And this reminds me a lot of Pokemon, except without like transforming to a Pokemon, and you only remember that you are human, but you just like forget everything. You have like amnesia or something. Like you lost all your memory, which it's just weird. Like uh, that that's what it reminded me at the beginning. Oh, like oh, so this is Pokemon, and like uh, one of the characters. One of the characters in the game, uh, her, I forgot, I forgot her name, sadly. Uh, I think we're gonna see her, I just try to see right now, by clicking to the game. Also, the loading screens are pretty annoying sometimes, like, some of the times it takes a little long, and cutscenes, like, whenever you go into a cutscene, it sometimes takes a little long to load than usual, like, when you played Xenoblade Chronicles, I'm not sure if it's just me being used to Xenoblade Chronicles, or it's just this game is just weird playing on like a Wii U. But it just takes long. I don't know why, it's just me, but yeah, this character right here. The party we have. We could actually have four characters. Unlike the, the first Xenoblade Chronicles game, you could actually have four party members. Uh in at once. You have Ye Yang, who is me. Elma, which is the character I was talking about, Lin, a 13-year-old girl, and Lao, the first male character in my team. And we also have Tatsu, or Pot Potetsu, whatever you like to call him. I like calling him Potetsu, or that's what I heard on the internet, because he looks like a potato. Well, he doesn't. He's a no-pod. But yeah, he's a, his name is Tatsu. And he's pretty much like a supporting character, like a major supporting character. He'll follow you on your journey, but just weird. Like, him not doing anything. I always wanted, like, another no, no pawn in our team. But this one's not going to do anything. He's just there for support. It would be pretty cool to have something like that again. But anyways, the music, the environment is amazing. The characters, uh... The way they look is like outstanding. I really like the way their design choices, especially uh, Alma's. I think her name was. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting her name. Elma. There we go. Just Elma with an A. Elma. Yeah, her design is pretty much is the best. I really like her hair. 
Her, her red and blue design choice. I really like that, like, clothing type. Uh, the personality is very weird in this game. Like, it's very diverse. Uh, Tatsu and Lin's relationship reminds me a lot of Ryan and Ricky's relationship. Where Ryan was the immature kind of guy. While Tatsu would always... Tatsu or Ricky... Wait, Ta well, while Ricky was always, like, saying how dumb Ryan could be sometimes. Same goes for here with Lin and... Ta and Tatsu, Ricky, but Ricky would also be teased by Ryan, by the way. It's the same goes for T Lin and Tatsu. It feels the same way. I like how they connected it that like that as well. Uh, also, Lin is a very huge powerhouse, I have to admit. Uh, also, there's one thing that's weird. The characters, the, your main character, yourself, is mute. Which is weird. You co But I really like the choice where you could, like, pick your character. Like... Like, what to say. Like, you could say something bad or something good. You don't really necessarily become, like, a bad guy. Or change anything. It just makes you sound, like, cool. There was one choice where you could decide what you want to eat. And Lin here is a very, very good cook. Somehow, I'm not sure how. But there's this girl has many talents. So, basically, she... She could cook you up seven different things. Which, I, which is very cool. And, uh, you get different cutscenes as well. Uh, I chose the fried chicken, because I like fried chicken. I really don't like any of the other things she showed. So I got fried chicken. Yay! Uh, so enough about that. The game, the controls are amazing. I like how you can sprint in this game as well. The jumping is weird. Like, I don't know why. When I first played it, I was, like, saying, Whoa, they, the characters feel a lot more heavier than usual but if you sprint your like jumps become super floaty and you also kind of skid a bit like when you turn around it reminds me a lot of animal crossing wait oh never mind i was trying oh never mind so anyways like the controls and whatnot they're amazing i really like how there's a night and day system it's a it's much longer than it is in xenoblade chronicles the first one and I like how they show rain more often, because in the first one, there wasn't really any rain. Like, it'll pop up once in a while. But, uh, there's a few things that I don't really like about the game. Like, some small, minor flaws. Uh, the enemies, it just, like, sp spammed a l Not, like, spammed, but, like, you could find one enemy that's, like, level 1, and then, like, find another enemy that's, like, around your level, which is probably around, like, 12 or 13 if you're in, you're in my, uh kind of place like my per point of view or uh my level and then you can find like ca like certain enemies around level 50 that are hostile yeah there's a lot of hostile enemies uh especially even heck sometimes the ones that are very high level can just see you and then you're pretty much dead even like i was trying to escape once and they just shot me down with like an aerial attack or something or like a, a very very far away range attack I don't know, just, like, they needed, they, I thought, like, in the first Xenoblade, they needed to tone it down. They didn't tone it down, like, they, they put it up a lot. Like, there's a lot of hostile enemies in this one. So if you try escaping, there's, like, no use, you're dead. Yeah, had that happened to me a lot. I'm not sure if I'm just bad at this game or not. But, yeah, uh, there's one more little complaint I have about the game. And that's... Uh, the characters, like, diversion, like, I, there's, there's one thing I really like about the characters is that you can wield two weapons at once, a far, a far range weapon and a close combat weapon, which both of them are either, which the cl close combat weapon is a sword, while the, uh, range weapon is a gun. So, you can switch between them while you're in battle, so let's say if you don't want to get too close to an enemy, you can use your, um... Uh, your gun to get them from far away well if you're using your sword or knife or javelin whatever kind of class you are you're using the you're using your you're using your sword if you want to get close up but there's one thing i really don't like about it is that they don't really have that many yeah they have a lot of classes for uh weaponry but the thing is like i don't really like how it's like gun and sword that's the only two weapons you can have in the first xenoblade you had the monado you had Ryan's, like, they, like, shield kind of thing. 
that was also used as a weapon. You had Dunban's regular sword. You had Charla's gun. You had Melia's wand or staff that could cast magic spells and use ether. While Ricky would just use ran random stuff with his dancing and his weapon, his weapon, and in his own spit rather, his own spit, which could cause poisons, or he could even put enemies to sleep. Which was cool. And finally, Fiora's, which I haven't gotten to yet, to be honest. I'm pretty sure she has some, like, a dual kind of weapon. I'm not sure. That's all I remember from Fiora, because I haven't gotten up to her yet in the first Xenoblade. But yeah, I always felt like that one, this one is not as diverse as the other one. Sure, you have more classes of weaponry, but it's only guns and swords. Unless I'm not through the game enough, and I really need to get through it. But sometimes it gets a little boring. You know, all RPGs are like that. You you get so addictive, and then, like, there's that one point where it gets a little boring. But, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X is an amazing game. Gameplay-wise, music-wise, there's a lot to say about it. As it's minor flaws, just like the first one. But there's a few things that they changed that were good and bad. But minorly and majorly, but not necessarily majorly for the bad parts. But overall... Xenoblade Chronicles is an amazing game. I, I'm probably going to tell you my uh, opinion on it when I'm getting further into the game. Probably in a let's one of my episodes of my Let's Plays. I'll probably tell you my opinion on it. But yeah, I'll, I'm giving Xenoblade Chronicles X a 9.8 out of 10. It's amazing. It's it's. I would give it a 10 out of 10. If uh, there's like an update where they don't have like constant... Uh, like bad spawn points where like you're spawning right on top like right next to an enemy that's hostile because it's just messed up sometimes so yeah like uh that's the only thing i would love about the game if you did like spawn in a bad point like when you respawn at places 